visualization. Oh yeah, wrist stretches, sorry. Back of the hand, put your thumb on the back of the hand, grab your thumb, bend it, and twist at the same time. You can put pressure on, release, pressure, release, or you can just maintain pressure. Um, if you do a lot of typing, if you do these, it'll be very beneficial to you. Switch, thumb on the back of the hand, grab the thumb here, push it in and twist. Start working on your grip of things. Okay, so hand straight out, thumb down. This hand, thumb up, grasp, pull straight in. Now, while keeping this bent, gently turn your fingers up. You may only get them to here, that's fine. Tim Harrell is watching. Hey, All Tim. All right, Master Harrell. And before that, he said in caps, earned it. Okay, other hand, thumb down, this one thumb up, grass, pull straight in. While keeping this bent, gently turn up. This is a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful lock. And if you learn the details of this lock, it is just horribly painful. Okay, waterfalls, hand out like this, palm up, grab the fingers. Pull it across the body, creates an arm bar here, locked out, and you're picking up on the fingers here. So you should feel it stretching all the way up through that arm. Switch, palm up, grab fingers, pull across <laughs> the body. He was in my shirt. Did he just cough? I Did sneezed. You have to kill him. Why? <laughs> what? You sneezed. I don't it's near him. Pollen. Wind's blowing that way anyway. You know, you, you, you're okay, fine. Okay, relax the hand. Come <laughs> down and take your thumb and pull it towards the wrist here. Just like that. That is unnatural. Oh, you'll, everybody will get there. If you just stretch it long enough, you'll get there. Yeah. Every journey begins with a single step. <laughs> Got to start someplace. No matter where you're starting from, as long as you don't stop, you don't quit, you maintain perseverance, you're going to accomplish what you set out to do. But you have to be positive about what you're trying to do, right? No negativity. If you've got somebody in your life that's being negative about what you can and can't do, kick them out. Get them exactly. out of there. Or, you know, just let that fire up your enthusiasm to prove them wrong that you can do it and rub it in their face. This is why I believe I'm going to do the hot can. The hot can. <laughs> Rotate. <laughs> When you do it, let us know. Shake them. See it the All right, and then just a little bit on the shoulder. Just stick your arm out and get above the elbow and hook it. Pull across. I can't believe it's been eight years. Joe and uh, Chris were the last ones that got promoted. And they're about to test for their fourth hand. Switch. Next, actually it'll be... Uh, August, July, August, I'll have two individuals going to their fourth hand. In Hapkido? Yeah. Wow. Which will be the very first one. No, you didn't get fourth in Hapkido. It would be the very first ones to get fourth in Hapkido from me. Wow. All right, good. All right. We were talking about uh, side wrist, the first ones. Okay. Let's go back to this thing. Remember the stretch you just did, right? It's called the S lock, a Z lock, a two way torque, a, you don't know. Type, type in something else you guys call it. You might call it something else. We're gonna put him into that position from here. The trap is critical on this. When I trap, I'm gonna take these fingers and you see right here on this knuckle? Come down here. Right here on that index knuckle, I'm gonna plant my fingers right there. My thumb's gonna go here. I'm not going to let anything on my hand touch these two bones, the radial and the ulna bone. Don't let nothing touch those. This is what we're attacking is this joint. I trap, I step in and take my elbow. Now look what just happened to his arm when I stepped in. See this? We got our S lock, right? Trap, step in. Now from here what I do is I take my elbow here and I take it down while maintaining this upward pressure or pickup 
on that finger. So he'll trap, see where the fingers are, thumbs there, he steps in, oh look, it creates that, and he drops his elbow right on top of there. Now when you do this, you can't go do this and take this whole thing down like this. Look, I got nothing. This stays up, this part goes down. <laughs> okay? Everything in, in Hapkido has a fulcrum. There's a push and a pull all the time. It's also classified as yin-yang, happening all the time. Hmm? Hmm. And we'll go to the other side. You can do it from the back so you can see it. Trap, step in, elbow down. Boom. All right, that was one of them there. The second one I showed you was I'm going to turn my whole body and hips and everything towards me. Oh, look, did I sink? You're gonna get tired of hearing me say that. I turn towards him, I sink. My thumb's gonna go on the back of his hand. My ring finger specifically come over to this other side. Link. It's going to go right here. Remember this spot right here on this wrist. We are gonna use this all the time in all kinds of joint locks. Ring finger goes there, thumb on the back of the hand. I'll come back around the front again. And I'm going to step into him while I'll roll this up and step in. Don't be in a hurry to take this out because look, I got a thumb break here if I want it. Pull against the body. This goes up, this goes down here. Okay? So he turns, sinks, thumb on the back. Good placement, rolls in. Good, there it is. Look at that. A that thumb armbar. falls right into your hand. Beautiful mark. Shift towards. I have to move in. If I stay out here like this, bend your elbow. I'm gonna lose. I need to get that elbow in here. Okay. All right, one more, and then we'll go on. Boom. The third one that I showed you. You can trap just about any place on this one. We're not attacking the wrist specifically. We're gonna put them in the arm bar. I'm going to grab the hand, I'm going to step in and strike him in the groin, which I'll get a, I should get a bend over from him to some degree. I'll pull this against my body, look where he's going, he's going down, hook. Now I can either knee him through here, or flip or him. I'll step back and pull his head this way, through that hole. And he'll flop right there like a macro. Wait, no, no. this is number three. This is number three. Yeah. Okay. Strike. Boom. Here's the arm bar. Boom. Here's the pull. Boom. You can bring that knee in. Boom. Or you can step back with this foot, pull that head through there. And do a flip. And away you go. All right, that was number three that we did. We'll do it one or two more times if you got a partner. Hopefully you're doing these things. Step in, strike, hook, boom. The next one I showed you, is, is, as far as street goes, is probably one of the, your first choices. Everybody knows what a C-step is, right? Mm -hmm. I'm going to C-step in here. So when I C-step, the purpose for that C-step is for me to get in here and I want to feel his leg against the back of my leg. Trap, C-step in. This is getting him so he can't move. His elbow is right against my arm. All I do now is turn. The more aggressively I turn, the more damage I potentially cause to him. Trap, step in, boom. You almost went over the shoulder. Yeah, I did. If, if this person is much taller than you, and you do this, now it's just going to be on your shoulder, and instead of turning that way, you'll just turn this way. <laughs> so, Dang. <clears throat> many of the arm bar type techniques, you have to change whether you're breaking the elbow here, or here, depending on your relationship to the person you're dealing with. If they're taller than you, a lot of times you're going to take this over the shoulder. If you're either your size or shorter than you, you're going to take this across the arm. <coughs> Boom. Okay, one or two more on this. If, even if you don't step in, you just go to here, you're fine. You're still going to get that. The only problem is it gives them an opportunity to step and release some of that pressure. And then the other one that I showed you, I'm going to turn towards him and put my thumb and trap on there the same way we did on that second one. But this one's going to do something called cradling. So I trap, I roll this, 
and I slide to here. When we're doing this inside lock, again, I can't have fingers. If I have fingers on here, watch this. I'm bending, I'm bending. He's not reacting. I bring my fingers here and I bend. I get reaction. If your hands, fingers are starting to touch these two bones here, you're supporting that wrist and taking away the attacking method that you want there. Slide. Feels good. <laughs> He's smooth as a baby's butt with it. <laughs> See, I am not. And from here, we want to scoop kick that knee, take that knee out of there, by all means, go right ahead. Yeah. Hmm. You want to take it down to here and let go of this and come back in here and start breaking things there? By all means, go ahead. You want to take that thing, tuck it under here, grab this. Hey! What was that? <laughs> hey! <laughs> that was a different lock. Okay, if you have any questions on those, that's what we did um, on Wednesday. Just kind of reviewing those. Um, let's see. Let's go into some cross wrists. We haven't done cross wrists with anybody yet. Okay. First one, what I want you to do is you gotta, I want you to step down to this. See the three dimensional space this hand is in? I want you to leave it there and I want you to step to it. Step to it, I'm gonna put my hand right in the chest like the one handed monk. I turn. Look at his body, he's already reacting. I apply pressure as I lock or latch on. I go straight above the elbow and apply pressure here. Nice arm bar. When we're doing an arm bar, I always want to use my ulna bone, which we call our bone of pain. And I'm gonna dig it in just above the elbow, about an inch or so above the elbow. Don't be all, don't get too anal about the um, specificity of exactly where it is. Millimeter or two off, it's not that big a deal. See my feet? Which way are they pointing? To my core. My core is whatever I'm attacking. In this case, it was the arm. So that's the direction my feet should be pointing. If I have this back foot turned out like this, I've lost a tremendous amount of power on this technique. Trap, roll, and go. See it from the other side, you might see something else from that direction. <clears throat> this next technique, uh, just put one foot forward someplace. I'm gonna switch feet down. Okay, this next technique is gonna require something called a triangle step. His feet are gonna make the base of the triangle. Here's our line right here. Now, if I draw a triangle, do you see our triangle? triangle step means that I am stepping to this triangle point. This is my minimum step. Anything short of that, I'm not going to take his center. You can go past it, but you must at very minimum be to the middle of his feet. So I counter grab, I triangle step, I base this against me and I pop the crap out of his elbow. You've taken a ball and like and popped it with your arm. Yes? That's what I'm doing right here. Right here, and I'm going to C step and drive with my shoulder. My shoulder leads, and I want to hook that leg. As you can see, I had to kind of let him go really quickly because he's tied up. He really can't get any place. Strike, base, drive with the shoulder. What's I'm doing with my shoulder? You see that? People have a tendency to want to do this. You're going to lose. The minute you do this, you are screwed, man. Your balance is all backwards. You're on your heels. You're not going anyplace. So, oh, sorry. The triangle steps. There it is. There's the pop with the base. Trap, C step. Now, when he does this C step, the same theory before. When I C step around here, I want to, I want to touch that leg. I want to take all that space out of there. Space equals escape, which is spelled a lot like escape. Strike, wrap, boom, there it is. 
All you do at that point is just turn your turn your body and just like fly. Go ahead. Just in front this time. And he's out of here. Be careful because when you do it right, you're really going to hurt your partner. He's going to get a little pissed off. There you go. But it's their turn next. Yep. <laughs> Unless you break their arm, then it's going to the hospital time. <laughs> so, I want your mind to be open on these types of things. Right now, we're doing that from a cross wrist grab. Really, if you just start to understand some of the things that you're doing here, um, maybe he grabs here with the same side. What if I did this? Didn't I just end up into a cross wrist grab? Yes, sir. All right. All I did was this. Now I basis strike and go. Right? Where's my feet? Oh, look at that. Pointing forward. Pointing out. Am I, am I sinking? Are the legs bent? Yes, sir. Yep, they're bent. Fantastic. Yeah. The arm you could do it as an escort, he's saying. Boom. You'd have to move them pretty quick on an escort because they're still going to want to get around. Yeah. So you're either going to have to run them into something like a pole, a wall, grab them by the hair. Yeah. The car. Terrible. I don't know why we're thinking such bad thoughts against humanity. <laughs> but he's so kind and we should treat everybody with utmost respect. Hmm, hmm, hmm. I'm not saying I love my dog better, but am I? <laughs> I love my dogs better. I'm not afraid to admit that. Strike. Again, maybe I'm not going to cease if I just take it right here. Maybe I take it across. Maybe I take it across and down. <laughs> so much fun. Reminds me of a time I was working at um, Tampa General ER. Uh, I did security there. Me and, me and a partner were in charge of maintaining safety in the level one trauma center. Well, there was this bad guy, he was all handcuffed up and the cops get there, they usually pass him over to me. But in this case, they wanted this guy to sign some documents at this counter. And it was a table right, or the countertop right there. And the cop goes, no, I'm not taking the handcuffs off. It took us forever to get them on. And they go, we gotta have him sign it. We can't do it without him signing it. So they argued and argued and argued. And the cops look at me and goes, well, what do you want to do? Because I, ain't, I don't want to take them off. And I'm like, all right, well, we'll handle it, okay? We'll do it. We'll do it. So I get a hold of that handcuff really tight because last thing you want is somebody swinging around with a loose handcuff hanging off of it, okay? And if you are doing that because you work security or something, make sure you ratchet that handcuff closed. It's not open and you got that hook out there swinging around. Latches. So I hung on to that and the guy signed this thing and he was just trying to be funny so he flinched like this. I just went wham! My arm barred him and his face went boom! <laughs> Straight onto that countertop. <laughs> that must have been fun. All right. The next one, we call this one the Seagal. Because <clears throat> we see Steven Seagal do this technique, and I think, I haven't seen all his movies, but every movie I saw of him, he does this technique. And it's in everything. Yeah, and it's, it's beautiful. Guess what? Oh, look! A triangle step. I'm going to counter grab. This hand's going to come in as well. Break. Strike. I'll step all the way through here and I'm sliding a bit to this wrist lock. So this comes off the body. Here I ain't got jack. Off the body I got more than jack. Man, there's a lot of detail to this one. Counter grab, triangle step. Watch this. I'm not doing this. If I pick this hip, he starts to bend his arm, I will never get it back. Never, ever in a million years. Even if he's skinny and scrawny and not as strong as I am. Here, I watch where his arm is. I left it there and went to it. Bend your legs. Don't be afraid to bend the damn legs. Break, strike. Come back to the hand, big turn. Did I raise up when I turned? No, I stayed that same level. He's gonna like this one because he hates getting low. <laughs> I, can, I can get low. You can get low. There it is, look at that. Beautiful break, strike, come back to the hand. Nice. We're going to add some evil into this too in a second. Break, strike, stay this low. The other thing you need to make sure you're doing 
is stand over here on this side so you can see the angle right here. Good, just right there. How much space is between me and him right now? Uh, none. none. Booty buddy close. If it's out here, no good. Booty buddy close. <laughs> okay? Do not be afraid to be friends with your friends. Strike. Go. One more and then we'll get evil. Same, 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 but and after my strike, this time I watch where I'm going to go here. I'm going to come across the front and pull this in this fashion. His body doesn't like it already, but I'll make this hand follow this trajectory. It's going to make this elbow go up. Have you ever uh, taken a chicken and twisted the wing off of it before you start gnawing on it? Think of that. Okay. One more time. Counter grab, triangle step, come in low, break strike. And I'm going to come out this way here. And I have to slow it down. I'm, I'm trying not to do anything. <laughs> That's brutal, right off the freaking bat, man. Part of the problem with this is, is I'm so used to having my fingers in the right places on things to take advantage of the fulcrum. I, it works well for me. Which one do you want? This one? Boom, bang, bang. Now step back with that foot. There. See that? I'll let you do that again because I'm a little more flexible. I can take more <laughs> Fendi on that. Bang, bang, and step back. Mm. You Jeez. could stand to stay a little bit lower as he goes under that. Just a teeny bit. Boom, now don't go any higher than where you are right now. Beautiful, look at that. Look at that, awesome. So, that's a fun one. How many people we still got watching? Awesome. All right. Let go for a second. Here, just, we're gonna look at the footwork first. One, two. See where I am, see how close I'm getting to him? One, two. Come on over to this side over here, Al. <laughs> Look where I'm at. Okay, stay there. Strike. Now you can come back over to the side. This is one of my favorites, quite honestly, because quite, you should be done with that strike right there. I'll bring it away from the body slightly, hook under, I'll step back with the other foot. Now I'm applying vroom vroom, a motorcycle twisty sorty thing here, while my radial bone is just above the elbow. Digging into that, I pick up with this, push down here, like that. Being gentle, of course. One, two, three. Mm -hmm. You could just stay right here and do that. Do that. The push pull will probably knock him out right off the end. That, that whiplash, right? You didn't pull. It snaps the crap out of your neck. Your brain's going boom, boom. It's called coup, counter coup. You got a lot of wonderful things taking place in this. You can use a punch, you can use whatever you want. But the target I want everybody to use is right here on this jaw. I want you to hit this, make the jaw go, uh, and turn the head. If you hit here and create this, you've got a really good chance of browning them out at the minimum. But I never say anything is a guarantee, but you got a good chance of knocking the person out if you hit them hard enough. You mean when Rocky got punched in the jaw and his jaw moved and what, he should have went out? Yeah. Is that what you're trying to tell me? Yeah, he should have. What? <laughs> I don't know why he didn't. I heard a pop. Yeah, it's called settling. <laughs> One more here. Keep One, your mouth closed. Two. Boom. Keep your mouth closed. 
One, two. I like swinging out far from the other side there, too. All right, one more time. Here you go. And then we'll move on. Strike. Bang. Okay. I know on those techniques there's some other things that we're doing we, we use players players to the game a player is anything that you're adding to the technique that will increase its effectiveness by even this much okay okay <laughs> anything you're adding to the technique that increases its effectiveness is called a player having my feet to the core is a player Having my nose over toes or forward weight on a technique is a player. So these two, having my feet forward and my weight forward, will add to the effectiveness of any of, any of my locks. Basing, if I'm pro, applying an arm bar, basing this here, if I move this out like this, that arm bar wasn't very effective. If I base this and keep it here while I, I do this, <laughs> now it's effective okay so basing is a player so on that one we just did when I step here I base this so it can't go anywhere so when I blast him through the chin his body can't absorb the energy by moving away I'm forcing it to stay there and have his head take 100% of that energy I'm delivering does that make sense hopefully it does yes okay so there are some big players I want you to focus on if you're doing your, your training, uh, you're practicing on your own. Feet forward, and they should be at least shoulder width apart, something comfortable. And the distance, front to back, if you look at this, if I slide a foot forward, this is barely one foot forward. I don't want to be deep. If I'm deep, now I have to shift my weight all the way to here before I can kick or attack with this, or I have to shift my weight all the way back here before I can kick or attack with this. If I'm keeping it in a shallow stance, I can utilize either leg without a tremendous amount of weight redistribution. Make sense? I have to have my weapons ready to deploy at all times. Which is the other reason why I want your feet forward on all your techniques. If this foot's turned out, this leg is out of the fight. I can't kick you with this leg until I rotate the hip forward. What kick am I going to do from back here without moving my, forward, my hip forward? What technique? Is there one? Not to my knowledge. So, you could with that, my, see your hip still has to go. Yeah, it still has to go. Your hip turn. still has to yeah. come into it. Yeah, so, it stands to reason that don't leave it out, leave it in at all times so it's ready to go. You don't have to do one thing to do another. You're ready to do the thing you want to do. Okay? All right, cool. Enough of that babble. Uh -huh. All right. This next one, we're doing crosses. We're going to use a spot. It's not a pressure point. I know people don't like pressure points, so we're not going to use any pressure point crap. But you see this muscle right here that you have on your forearm? See that? There's a line here. See that line? And there's a line here. We, oh, see that? Oh, there it is. Mm -hmm. Mr. Muscles. Yeah. That line right there and that's like, I want you to use this line right here. We're not calling it a pressure point. Mm -hmm. I want you to take a thumb and stick it in there like that. <laughs> okay. And notice I'm not using the flat part. This is for healing. This is for injuring. So we use the tip of the finger. Okay. So we're going to get evil with this one too. Sorry. It's a cross wrist. We counter grab. I'm going to turn this in and do my triangle step again while I take that point and drive this. Oh my God. Look at that. In fact, I got such a reaction out of that. There's no way I'm going to go to the lock that I was wanting to go to. <laughs> I'd have to do something else. I'm sorry. Very sensitive in that area. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I will be I will be less pressurative. Triangle step, dig in that spot, and I push this elbow across here, and as I do that, I come right through here and drop. I didn't want to get my hand on I should have done it in the first place. Just come in here, drive this. I like going to my knee on that one because it's just a total commitment to it. Remember that chicken wing off the chicken? That's exactly what's gonna be occurring. Brutal. Boom. Oh, <laughs> I didn't go You got it money. pretty good though. <laughs> it's not a pressure point. I didn't use the word pressure point. <laughs> <laughs> so 
Somebody's already pissed in the pressure point pool and ruined it for the rest of us. I was watching the video. I'm not going to mention any names, but his initials are George Dillman. I mean, crap. <laughs> <laughs> Full commitment. Tell me I didn't pretty. Tell me I didn't pretty. Ah. <laughs> it's their next. See the body reaction? See the bar? What, what else can we do here? Oh. Oh. <laughs> so you mean that I don't have to do the whole lock to beef self-defense? No, you don't. You can use part of it. You can look at this. Strike. Just bring that in, in being behind your attacker, a great place to be. But now you're understanding something. When I hit this unnamed spot location over here on his arm, I get a body alarm reaction of him turning in that direction. Whether I stick a thumb in it or I strike it, understanding what's happening is benefit to me, right? If I know where he's going to be at a given point in time, is it a benefit? So, the combat application for this is to not use the hand, but I want you to know where that location is, so I will strike as I come. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> like three I more. Love you too, Phil. <laughs> three more people started watching when he started just evil. <laughs> That's the best one. If you don't know how to find that target, if you know how to find it, strike it in. Now, if nothing's 100%, okay, if I have 10 people in here, I'm liable to have one, maybe two, that's not going to be quite sensitive to that area. So keep that in mind. Nothing is guaranteed, all right? Yes, sir. Go ahead and go again. Strike. And go through. And do it again. We'll just change. Stay there. I'm just changing anyway. Stay there. Because okay? you're going to end up over there anyway. Boom. And through. Good. He's not raising up, you know, as he's going through this. Everybody get that okay? Can we move on or should we stick with that one for a bit? Man, I wish we could have interaction here. Direct interaction. Direct interaction. Okay. Um, this next one is, I shouldn't say it's easy because there's a lot of details to it if you want to get it right. Ooh, details fun. Remember this lock? I know that S lock. S lock, Z lock, two way torque, call it what the hell you want. If you got a different name for this, type it in for me so I can have, you know, add more to my repertoire of names to call it. Pain lock. Oh, I'm sorry, we're going cross first. Remember this spot that we were touching earlier with our ring finger and everything? Right here? Mm hmm Watch this. I'm touching it. Touch it. How soon can I touch it? Oh, I'm touching it. Hi. I'm facing my palm towards him. See his fingers right here? Mine. Look, he's happy. He doesn't even want me to go any farther. All I do now is push down here. I should technically, I'm a little too far out. I should be here, keeping my arms against my elbows. I mean, elbows against my your arms against your elbows? Yeah, keeping my arms attached to my elbows is really important. <laughs> elbows to the body. When I do that, here's another player for you. My hands are staying in what's called the power zone. You are really strong with your hands right here. It's a rectangle about yay so. The farther I get away from that, the weaker I become. From over here, manipulating it out here, down here, up here. But here is where I am the strongest. Sink, stand, say hi, apply pressure, and go in. Do not be afraid to go in on this technique. But he can hit me. Oh, really? No, he can't. Once you apply this lock, he's going to want to try to get to the ground so damn fast. He's not going to have time to hit you. But even if they try to hit, try to hit you, look, where, look what I'm giving him as a target. My crown of my forehead, and then I go down on the wrist. And I'm going to tell you right now, his head is harder than the average guy's. <laughs> Just, look how quick you can get that on. Yeah. He's ready for it. And even if, right there, if I swing, yeah. look at that forehead. I mean, you ain't going to get it. I just apply more pressure. He'll drop. Nice. Notice how we're sinking our weight. Right? Got this. Got this. If you do this long enough, tap early and avoid expensive copays. Mm. Don't be like me and have crap that snap crackles and pops all the time. Or and, bad shoulders. 
because you can't do what you want to do anymore because everything's freaking broken. I go to it, I stand, and then it comes down. But Master Phil, what if they're really resisting? <clears throat> I step down to it. I stand. I turn. <laughs> oh, good. You were so energetic you about can that. Try it with your partner, but if you're doing this correctly, if see it's in this three-dimensional space, he can stop me from picking it up. Can he stop me from doing this? No. Watch this. You think his arms are stronger than my quads? No. <laughs> no. He Is tried. stronger than my Charles core? No. Can he stop me from doing this? No. Once I get here, he can't stop anything else either. That lock you can get to from just about any grab you can think of. I don't recommend putting somebody in a joint lock when they're punching at you, though. Why the hell would you want to restrain somebody? Well, unless it's your job. But if somebody's swinging at you, they deserve to be knocked out. I recommend you just drop them if you can and be done with it. You can put them in a joint lock when they're unconscious and go, well, that's pretty easy to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> What's it like to dislocate this finger? Oh, <laughs> I didn't say that. <laughs> I didn't know. He I did not say that. will be on video camera somewhere. <laughs> Guys, laid out with his finger broke. What happened to his finger? I don't know. He fell on it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, look. Um, I don't know who's always joining us and who's not. I hope you're getting something out of this. I hope you're enjoying it. I hope you're learning something. I hope you're trying to do them. I hope when all this is over, you come see me one day and we get the train together, okay? Me too. Yeah, him, he'll be here. So, I think that's going to do it for today's class. And um, I'm going to get ready. I'm going to go to the house and i got to put a shot together for our nightly shot player group. We've got a group of people on that. Uh, please, if you got any input as to what we're doing here, you go, yeah, man, it's great. I'm learning a lot. Or, wow, you suck. Uh, you should never be on the internet again. I don't care what it is. Just whatever. <laughs> I'll delete your post anyway, but... Uh, we have that power. <laughs> no, I probably wouldn't. I'd actually leave it there, but... I appreciate your time. Thanks for joining us. I Train will do smart. another uh, knife class this weekend, and maybe a little dry fire class. I don't know. We'll do, see. Do, do, do. Bye.